What's up guys, Marlon back here again with another live stream. This live stream is not going to be long like my typical live stream that I normally do, but it's going to be relatively really um, short here, like a little bit under an hour. I just wanted to get some live interaction here um, with this. We got some massive um, details here and shout outs to the people that's been sending me this information i got one from a insider and then the other two details is from you know from um reset era and everything like that so we're gonna go over all of this stuff this is some massive news guys so make sure y'all hit that like button man this is about to be crazy we got some information oh my god so we have the ps5 um, reveal and pre-order details we also have the ps5 teaser at super bowl and there's a private event that's supposed to be going on at the super bowl this is crazy because i know a lot of people that actually um work at like each stadium because my job before like working at fedex and everything so that's kind of crazy there um so we're, we're gonna have some information um, on that and then of course GameStop with the PlayStation 5 we got some pre-order details as well so make sure you guys get hype man we got some crazy information that is about to go down right now um, <clears throat> so make sure you guys hit that like button hit that like button guys so first thing is first let me go ahead and get started here um, I could I, I couldn't even control myself when I first heard um, this information and everything like that because I know a lot of you guys are waiting on news and information regarding the PS5 you guys are just like me like oh my god come on Marlon come on like what's going on what's up guys make sure y'all hit that like button what's good what's good hit that like button um, <clears throat> let's go guys let's go let me make sure that we are good here um, let me do this one thing and then we'll be good to go. Um, all right. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Hit that like button, guys. Let's go. Are y'all hype? Are y'all hype? Because I'm sure hype. All right. So first thing is first here. Let's read the first rumor. And then we're going to get off into GameStop and then we're going to get off to that inside source uh, that gave me that information regarding the Super Bowl. And this comes as no surprise because the Super Bowl, you want to be able to showcase your system. If you have anything happening, you want to showcase it right there and then, right? I've seen Nintendo uh, done it with the Switch. I've seen Microsoft done it. And I think the Super Bowl is going to be a great time for you know advertisement because you get a lot of people the world is going to be watching and so if you reveal the playstation 5 you know at at super bowl th then there you go you know what i mean that's some astronomical numbers so that's why that actually makes a lot of sense there now let's kind of dig deep what's up jack make sure y'all hit that like button share the stream guys share the stream um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started here. Let me put this out on Twitter guys And then we're gonna go ahead and get started. Make sure y'all click that like button as well It does help out the streams guys. All right, so Let me make sure everything is good here um, Hold up hold up wait hold up All right, so All right, I think we're good. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good um and sorry for the quality guys we're still trying to work on getting better internet so i apologize for the for the for the internet quality so we're gonna go ahead and get started here i'm starting a little bit later than usual i know some of you guys was messaging me out on twitter um oh marlon are we gonna get a stream today i really appreciate you guys man um come join me live all right all right guys are y'all ready are y'all ready let's go let's go all right so this first one here 
the PS5 reveal and pre-order details. This is the first one here. This is a rumor. Okay, so it states, hey guys, I, I know I am not a Jason Schreier. So Jason Schreier is pretty much uh, someone that is very credible in the industry. He worked with Kotaku and stuff like that. So if anybody knows anything, yeah, Jason Schreier is pretty much spot on with pretty much everything. He said that um, he's not no Jason Schreier or uh, Nebelian or anything like that, but I work as a journalist. Um, but I work as a journalist and the editor of a vehicle here in Brazil. Recently, our website combo Infinito received some information regarding the PS5 announcement and its pre-order. Our sources are reliable, but for legal reasons, we were asked to uh, keep them confidential. Therefore, we cannot reveal where we got such details from. I understand that. Now, here's the bit. Of, here's the information right here. Our sources claim that the PS5 will be revealed after the 15th of February. So I can see that happening because the, the rumored date was the 5th. And I'm like, okay, if it's the 5th, then they should already been sending out media invites and everything like that already. What's up, farm? Uh, they, they should already been sending out like media invites and everything already because we're getting we're approaching the fifth like the fifth is like literally a week away. So if you want people to go to the event and everything, they should have already announced it for the fifth already. So they're saying the 15th and that's where I was kind of heading the 15th or the end of the month. So they're saying he's saying that it's going to be revealed after the 15th of February. So it could be the 16th, it could be the 17th of February. No date was mentioned and has never been cited for the 5th. So basically the whole 5th situation, you could throw that out of, the, uh, out of the, the loop of things here. As for the other rumors I've suggested, this would be due to other investor meetings that, uh, that Sony will hold early next month. So the, I'm guessing they're going to be having some sort of investor meeting. A lot of companies right now are doing their investor meetings around this time of year, especially at the end of their physical year and such like that. Um, like Nintendo just had one. I'm pretty sure Microsoft is having theirs. And I'm pretty sure, you know, Sony is having theirs because they got to plan out how they're going to do the PS5 reveal and things of that nature. Now, here's a, here's a, here's the, the rest of the information. So. They're going to be having their investor meeting that Sony will be holding early next month. In addition, the pre-order is expected to start around March. So you will be able to pre-order it around March, which actually makes a little bit of sense. I know we've gotten rumors saying that, you know, the pre-orders are going to be available, you know, like right after the show. So he's saying that you know, it's going to be afterwards, like, you know, March before we can actually pre-order the PS5. Um, Marlon, you are the most honest, truthful, and transparent YouTuber. Keep it up. Thank you so much, JJ. I really appreciate it. Uh, loving the live streams. Thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate it. Make sure you guys abuse that like button as well. Uh, thank you all so much, man. All right. So basically, here we go now. So pre-order is expected to start around March. According to what we were told, Sony has already changed the date of the event and the pre-order twice. Wow. So apparently they, they probably had, you know, a certain date for the event. And then they're like, nah, who knows? It could have been the fifth. It could have been the fifth. You know what I mean? And they probably said, nah, we need a little bit more time. You know, we're trying to work out the kinks and everything like that. So no, it's not going to happen at that given time period, which actually makes a lot of sense when you really think about it because companies, they do change dates and things like that. So it's just, it just makes a lot of sense. Now let's continue here. <clears throat> Finally, we will keep the matter as a rumor until some news is official released. So more details in the link below. It's in Portuguese. So basically when I went over to the, the whole translation 
situation. I think Google wasn't able to wait. Hold up. Hold up. OK, I think I have a bit more information on it here now. Uh, let me see. Let's dig a little bit deep here. Um, but information. OK. All right. So here's 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 a, a little bit more information, guys. I just did the translation. It was, I guess, in Spanish or something like that. Um, but here's the rest of it. So but the details don't stop there. In addition, we were also informed that the pre-sale of the new console should start in March. But there will be a will a willful shortage. Oh my god. No surprise there. No surprise there. This Nintendo does it, Microsoft does it. Any new console comes out and you don't jump on the pre-order that same day, it's going to be tough getting your hands on it. So this guy is saying that um the pre-orders will be available in March, but there is going to be a shortage of console during the first year. And this is no surprise because what's up? What's up, God's creation? So this is no surprise, guys. I mean, within the first year, any next generation console, any new fresh console is going to have issues when it comes to you getting your hands on it and everything like that. So you got to jump on it right away. That's just how things work. Now, this, this is saying that because of the shortage for the first year, those who intend to purchase the PS5 will have a guarantee, um, will have to guarantee their purchase as soon as possible. Wow. In addition, the sales estimate is around two to three million this year. Wow. So the sales estimate is around two to three million. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow um let's see here let's see here okay so that's all the information that we have as far as the pre-order details and um the reveal as far as this particular rumor here guys so this guy is saying that you know what he's credible he has reliable sources and everything like that so take that with a pinch of salt but man this actually sounds legit the, the meeting is supposed to take place after the 15th right and there's going to be a willful shortage of systems so there's going to be a lot of shortages when it comes to uh the playstation 5 so when, as soon as the pre-order is available you got to jump on it right away like asap <clears throat> and sony changed the date uh, i guess like multiple times so that's the first thing there guys now we're gonna go off into a much more serious one here and this we're going to get to the, the whole super bowl situation as well but we're going to save my my the guy that reached out to me with that information we're going to save that one um for a little bit here let's talk about the GameStop situation so this is um Arisis black dropping more info about the playstation 5 and the series x january 31st so this guy is from neogaf Arias black is possibly a legitimate insider so this guy he was right about a lot of stuff when it comes to playstation putting out a lot of information out there so this is basically what's going on here there are facts gamestop has a temporary skew so gamestop has a temporary skew right now a skew number for the PlayStation 5, it's listed in the system now at a retail price of $500. So basically, the, the price of the PlayStation 5 is listed in GameStop system at 500 bucks, which is no surprise because that's what we've been hearing. Also, there is a skew for the Series X, which is lower than the ps5 by 50 dollars so that could be the xbox series s right the much more cheaper variant to the the one that they showed which is the series x the more powerful one because that one i think is rumored to be selling at 600 dollars. so i'm thinking the one that's in gamestop system now is the one um the series x which is the less powerful one and it's it's or it could be the series x it could be the more powerful one uh for 50 dollars less now check this out don't i i don't know why don't ask 
it's in their it's in their system for both um, PlayStation 5 and the Series X. I have also known some stores have jumped the gun and taken the advanced pre-orders at these prices. There is also a skew for RE8. I'm guessing RE8, that's Resident Evil 8. And um, there's a skew for um, Godfall. There's a skew for Assassin's Creed. Okay, so they're making it rain. GameStop is trying to make it rain right now. And this comes as no surprise because, I mean, typically speaking, I, I think this is possible that GameStop have a temporary skew, you know, in their system. So when pre-orders are available, the skew is already there. You know, you can come in and start pre-ordering it. So it actually makes a lot of sense uh, with this information here. So apparently GameStop has Resident Evil 8, Godfall, um, Assassin's Creed does not say rig rig now or kingdom or whatever the rumored name for the for the new assassin's creed is is going to be it did not say any information regarding that now hellblade 2 and 2k21 had um a broken filter so no idea what's going on with that there um also what it is listed on there is ps5 titles and not accessory so he's saying that hellblade 2 that microsoft actually went on stage and showcased it's it's um it's not an exclusive um according to this guy here so in gamestop system they have hellblade 2 which microsoft they don't even have such thing there's no such thing as an exclusive with microsoft right everything that they go up on stage you guys know what the best selling game or best-selling system is right you know best-selling game on microsoft's platform is grand theft auto and that's a proven fact because you guys saw me google it yesterday so anyway let's keep on going here uh so yeah so hellblade 2 and 2k21 and broken filter no idea what it is listed on their ps5 titles and not accessories accessories are priced way too high oh my god so this is this is insane so i'm guessing they're gonna raise the price on the playstation uh, 5 controller this is the scary part because bro it's already tough enough to spend 60 dollars on a freaking controller and you mean to tell me it's gonna be higher than that which you know you got much more premium controllers out there like that playstation 4 pro controller that's made by ash ash um astro gaming uh that controller i think is like 200 bucks and then you have the elite controller so you do have controllers out there that are priced higher but the crazy part about this is this seemed like it's going to be the standard playstation 5 controller that's priced higher are you guys ready for the for the freaking price okay he says that it's way too it's way too high but again everything in the system at the moment is temporary so playstation 5 controllers are listed at 69 dollars holy cow make sure y'all share the stream this is viable information guys share the stream let everybody know what's up i know this is a short stream but share the stream share the stream hit that like button share the stream let's get more people in here um, so he's saying that the PS5 controller is listed at $69 in GameStop system. There is no way that's right. I'm hoping that it's the placeholder because people are going to flip if they got to spend $70 on a controller. Now, I can see that $70 being justifiable because, because of the tech that's built into the controller. The haptic feedback, the 3D audio, um you know all of that that expensive tech that's into the controller i can see why it's going to be selling for you know 70 dollars but still that's freaking high you know for some haptic feedback and all of that so 69 dollars okay for the controller and the series x um controller is ten dollars less so the, the the series x controller looks exactly like the xbox one controller uh, by the way, I mean, just a couple little tweaks here and there, nothing groundbreaking, but they are saying that 
um, that's that's what that's what it is. It's ten dollars less. So Series X is going to be sixty dollars, and PS5, if it's true, uh, if GameStop doesn't change their system, is going to be you know seventy dollars. Now, there is a PS5 camera listed, but it's one hundred and twenty nine dollars. Boy, that camera going to stay there and dry rot. That camera. Is gonna stay there and 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 rotten. It's gonna it's bro. It's gonna be falling off because there's no way I'ma spend a hundred and and twenty nine dollars on a freaking camera. Now, mind you, this is the camera from my five hundred million uh, limited edition PlayStation Five. This is the one that came with my limited edition PlayStation uh, PlayStation Five uh, PlayStation Four. Um, the five hundred million dollar one. You see you see how it has the the, 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 the circle and the square and the X and the triangle on it. They're saying that the PlayStation 5 camera is going to be um, $129. Not going to happen for me. I'm telling you that right now. But I don't know. Knowing me, I might suck it up, you know, and, and, and purchase the camera. You know what I mean? Just to stream off of my PlayStation. Because I literally grew my channel off of the PlayStation 4, you know, streaming and such. So... There you guys go on that. Now, here's the other bit of information. I didn't see one for the Series X. So right now in GameStop system, the guy is saying that there is no camera at all for the Series X. But my God, $130 for a camera, bro, that's a lot of money. Um, <clears throat> that's a lot of money. Now, there's nothing listed for the Series X. This... Um, uh, this is what I was told. This is from a multi-platform developer. So this is coming from a developer, guys. Jeez, man. So Horizus uh, uh, Horizus Black is a ins is a legitimate insider. Okay, and he's saying that he heard this information from a multi-platform developer so in other words a third-party developer pretty much gave him the information um, that's listed in gamestop system which developers do have um access I'm, i believe they they know a little bit more like as far as pricing for games and it's next gen right so they have dev kit they got price details and things like that so this is no surprise and a lot of people know people that works at gamestop so there you guys go on that now so this is coming from a multi-platform developer neither system is less than 10 wait what does that mean neither system is less than 10 period um okay so how is that for no riddles that's crazy so i don't know what do you mean each system is less than 10 what does that mean when he says less than 10? Um, I don't know what... I, oh! Oh, the teraflops. Thank you so much. Oh, so the teraflops. Oh, okay, okay, okay. He says neither system is less than 10, period. So I'm guessing he's trying to speak in parables. So that's good because we've been hearing that the PS5 was actually less than... 10 teraflops like it was 9.2 or something like that so none of the systems are less than 10 teraflops if this is really what it's saying here that's freaking interesting guys holy freaking cow now we got some information here um someone sent me this on twitter and um this is interesting because people have access to the super bowl they got access they, some people know exactly what's going to be shown stuff like that so this comes as no surprise um here for me as 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 far as that is concerned so this was sent to me today um oh somebody just subscribed oh boy thank you so much for subscribing welcome to the channel man the hype level is real i know a lot of you guys are hype um be sure to turn on that notification bell you never miss a video or live stream thank you so much for subscribing to the channel my brother now are you guys ready for the Super Bowl goodness? So the PS5, uh, PlayStation 5 teaser at the Super Bowl. So this is coming from someone um, that have inside information here. So they're saying that Sony is holding a private event. 
So basically, they're going to have a private event hall in the next few hours. Expect new public info. So basically, um, oh, I did subscribe to your channel. Oh, thank you so much, Fan Afternoon. Welcome to the channel, man. I really appreciate it. Um, so basically, this guy is saying Sony is holding a private event hall in the next few hours. So he sent me this today at... Uh, Rudy Pena, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, man. Welcome to the nation, man. Really appreciate the support, my brother. Thank you so much. Be sure to turn on that notification bell to where you never miss another video or live stream. Thank you so much. So, this guy is saying that Sony is going to be holding a private event hall in the next few hours. Expect new public info about the PlayStation 5. So, I'm guessing, guys, keep your eyes peeled on PlayStation Twitter. I know I have notifications turned on for PlayStation Twitter. So as soon as information drop, you know your boy is going to be uh, keeping you guys updated with everything PlayStation. You guys know I got y'all covered. Now, here's the last part of the details here. So within the next few hours, there's going to be a private event um, hall. I'm guessing I don't know where, how, how they're going to put this together. But... There is also a teaser at the Super Bowl. So I don't know as far as teaser goes. I think they're probably going to just show the logo. Because I don't think they're going to show the PS5 at the Super Bowl. Because then they, they would want to be able to... If they show... I, here's, where, here's where I think it's going to go. Um, I, don't think, I don't think that they're going to... Um, I don't think they're going to show what the ps5 looked like at the super bowl i mean it's possible just to kind of get the hype going but i don't think they're going to do that i think they're going to save that for their own private event so that they can show off what the system looked like talk about pre-orders and and you know everything from there but i don't think they're going to show they might just show the logo they might show a new logo or they might show the controller just a teaser so I can kind of see this happening, guys. You know, they're showing the PS5 at the Super Bowl and kind of get everybody hyped up, you know, for the reveal, the PS5, so they can get... Yeah, I will say show the controller. Yeah, show the controller. Show the controller, right? Show the controller here. So this guy is saying Sony is holding a private event hall in the next few hours. Expect new public info. There's also a teaser at the Super Bowl. So I would say, show me the controller and we good from there. I'll be happy with that. Show me the controller and we're good from there. Uh, G2G Bills, if y'all have any questions, man, feel free to drop it in here. Um, G2G Bills, what's good, man? Uh, he says, um, what's up, bro? Um, here at work listening to the stream with Jason and Fernando. Oh, man, appreciate the love, man. Appreciate the love. Uh, Toby... Uh, says uh, PS5 in the house, boys. Yo, yo, yo. Yes, sir. We here, baby. Uh, Tevin Jones says, what's up, Marlon? What up, bro? Thank you so much for joining, man. So, guys, a lot of jaw-dropping information here for the PlayStation 5. Remember, we haven't been getting a lot of information um, regarding the PlayStation 5 for a while now. We Yes, we've been getting the usual rumors, but nothing from insiders, nothing like actually legit you know, that we can kind of feed off of and whatnot. So, yeah, man, we got uh, the, the whole um, skew for the PS5 and the Series X in GameStop system for $500 um, there. And then, of course, the controller price and the camera and then the Series X price as well. Um, so, yeah, we got a lot of different information there from in, within GameStop um, skew there. So do you guys have any information um, that you guys want to share with me? Or if you have any questions, feel free to drop it in here. Again, guys, this is going to be a short stream. It's not going to be my usual hour and a half or hour and 40 some minutes, but we're going to keep running the stream for people who have questions or anything like that regarding GameStop system with the SKU information, with the price, um, the controller, the camera, the games that's listed in their system, um, the, the PS5 teaser at the Super Bowl, and also the PS5 uh, reveal and pre-order details. 
Um, what's up, Dank Meme? What's up, bro? Sony's staying silent. Yeah, bro, they're staying silent, bro. They're staying silent. But according to this guy, he's saying that uh, the th January 31st was one of the dates I gave you that the Sony Hall. Oh, so this is what he's talking about. He said Sony is holding a private event hall in the next few hours. Expect new public info. There's all. Oh. I see. Okay, okay. But you know what? I'm telling you guys this right now. Sony is if if they if they show off the PS5 at the Super Bowl, that's a clever marketing move because companies spend tens and millions of dollars to show off the PlayStation 5. You know, I mean, show off the PlayStation 5 to show off their systems or their product at the Super Bowl. So this would make sense to show the world that you're coming out with the PlayStation 5. I, I don't see why this wouldn't happen. You see what I'm saying? So this makes a lot of logical sense to me. I'm just going to tell the guy, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that info. Keep sending me more. I am live streaming, live streaming the info right now all right so basically um so i just messaged the guy back telling him thanks um because he tagged me and a bunch of other people um with this information here and i'm like wow this super bowl thing actually makes a lot of sense um he said the console what you what you you trying to find out details about the console like price uh, let me know, man. Let me know. I got you guys covered, man. I got you guys covered. Now, we also have some truth about GTA 6. So if you guys want to hear that as well, uh, we got some credible information here um, coming from the developer and so on and so forth as well. So we're going to go ahead and dig deep into that. Um, I got a tweet to you, a new Final Fantasy VII trailer. Um, oh, I didn't even see that. No, I haven't, because I've been so freaking busy today, man. I'm playing Horizon Zero Dawn till not, not, bro, I feel you on that, Toby. I feel you on that, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got some GTA 6, new information about GTA 6 here and why the release date um, that the developer said was true. You know what I mean? The ex-Rockstar uh, developer there. Uh, we got some information on that as well. So if you guys have any questions, I know some of you guys are just coming in. Feel free to drop it on me and I'll, I'll give you guys the information there. Um, <clears throat> Supreme, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream, sir. Thank you so much. Happy Friday. Yes, sir. Uh, new Final Fantasy trailer just dropped. Yeah, you, I don't know. Have y'all seen the trailer? Have y'all seen the trailer? Let me know in the comments if y'all seen the trailer yet. Uh, make sure y'all thumbs up that like button, man. I really, really do appreciate it, guys. Thumbs up that like button. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead here and give you some information regarding GTA 6. Uh, so re realistically, I think at this point, it is evident that we won't be seeing GTA 6 until sometime in 2022. There's a guy behind you. <laughs> um, um, Supreme says, I love your videos. I'm a big fan. Hey, thank you so much, my brother. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you guys. Seriously, you guys are amazing. I, and, I, and I love you guys. So thank you all so much for the support, man. Seriously, seriously um love y'all man marlon can you give us a live reaction of final fantasy trailer right now oh okay 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 y'all want that before we get to the gta 6 all right all right so we got we got some little details on gta 6 but where i guess you guys want me to react to the the trailer um so so yeah let's do that real quick let's do that real quick and i'll throw that in there too as well um let's do that all right um and then we'll jump back on the information that we got here all right so is this it right here final uh new final fantasy 7 uh remake trailer reveals more midgards good and bad side it hits april 10th okay that's a new trailer okay all right so we're, we're gonna go we're gonna go ahead and react to it real quick um 
Did you see? Did you do you think the P the DualShock Five will have a screen? It's possible, but they're gonna have to make it better. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to make the battery a lot better. Um, what? What was that? A wrapper? Wrapper where? All right, let's let's. Y'all are silly. Y'all are silly, man. All right, guys, let's go ahead here and do a reaction to uh, the trailer real quick. Uh, I guess you guys are demanding it, so we're gonna give the people what they want. Um, let's see here. Oh, Twitter. Okay, here it is. Y'all love talking about that, that. There's a guy behind you. Like y'all, y'all need to stop that mess. <laughs> y'all need to stop that mess, bro. <laughs> they used to do that to me all the time. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take this all in here. So. What did you want to talk about? When spring comes, I'm leaving town. I'm going to Midgar. I'm oh going to be a God. soldier. The best of the best. Like Sephiroth. Oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, wait. Let me take the chat off. Tell oh me. my God. Wait, wait, wait. Is it really you? Are we on schedule? Please, Mr. President, I am asking you to oh, reconsider. God. No, begging. <sighs> Director Twisty. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. Mako, supersaturation confirmed. Engaging materia cooling to reduce temperature. I think I'm Director. You have a meeting shortly. Stop. Your timing is impeccably oh atrocious. Oh dear. Oh dear. This looks so A good, man guys. of my refined so taste running good, out of butter. <laughs> Was it all a dream? Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. Well, oh my god. True beauty is an expression of the heart. A thing without shame. To which notions of gender oh, don't apply. Dress? Perfection. Not a word. What kind of? Not even one? No! No! But you're so pretty! Today's right to be is... Today's? What kind of Pathetic. Huh? Which what one of you world? said that? You got a mouth on you! Come on, boy, look like a sissy! Well, aren't we having a wonderful time kicking the hornet's nest? Come on, boy, Cloud looking like a you sissy! You know what I want. A second dance. Just the two of us. So oh what the God. hell is it? What? A fascinating question. Oh! I am that which you see before you. Nothing more. Oh my God! Oh! It's not touching so reunion. This looks so good. Oh my God! Very, oh my God. very good. And thus is the hypothesis proven correct. Oh my God! This I can only so hope good. you will continue not to disappoint. Yo! <laughs> I can't get over the fact that the air cloud looks like a sissy guy. He's getting tired of playing tag anyway! Come on! Oh, show some, show some Avalanche oh. ain't full time on anybody! Gameplay, boys! I can't wait for this. I can't wait. Oh my god. We're here to rescue Aerith, remember? We don't need more attention oh, than what we're gonna get. Running yeah, I <laughs> Oh my god! No way! I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. She's the last living agent on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra's scientists. This is the source oh of everything. Genova. No! Yo, this looks so good. Suck on this! The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real enemy. I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help wow. all of you and the planet. Oh my god. Bravo. Bravo. Oh, that looks so freaking lit. I can't wait. I can't wait. I cannot freaking wait. They got my boy Cloud looking like a sissy. They got my so, boy looking like a sissy. What in the world? They got Cloud looking like a sissy. Oh, they wrong for that, bro. They wrong for that, bro. They got my boy looking like a sissy, bro. 
Oh my god, Cloud in a dress, bro. Oh, that's too close, bro. That's too close. You got my boy looking like a sissy dog. Oh, uh, no, 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 I can't get over this, bro. You got my boy looking like a sissy, bro. Ponytails looking like Cinderella. <laughs> Yo, I can't, I can't, bro. I can't, dog. That was crazy. Thank y'all, man. Seriously, that was nuts. That trailer was nuts, man. Oh my God, they got my boy Cloud looking like a sissy. Uh, I can't get over that. I cannot get over that. That 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 is just too insane for me. I it's no it's just no way. Like, what's up, Sophic? What's good, bro? I know you messaged me if I was streaming today. Um man, my boy Cloud in a dress. Other than that, everything looks good. Tiff, bro, everybody looks good, bro. Like, I mean, I can't wait. I just, I cannot wait. Too much, too much wait, man. April is around the corner, though. But dang, bro, like, my boy is in a dress with ponytails, bro. Like, two ponytails. What are you, Wendy's, bro? What are you, freaking Cinderella, dog? Rapunzel? Oh, my gosh, bro. Uh, any PS5 news? Bro, we went over a lot of PlayStation 5 news, man. Uh, you missed it. So basically, the PS5 um, uh, will will get a teaser at the Super Bowl, um, and also they're going to have a private event. Um, at uh, so Sony is holding a private event hall in the next few hours. Expect new public info. So we're supposed to be getting some new public information regarding the PlayStation 5 today. So that's what they're saying. Um, any uh, Nintendo Direct news? Um, we haven't gotten anything um, pertaining to the Direct. The only thing I'm hearing is the 13th of next month. Between the thir like before Valentine's Day. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. Don't take it as gospel, but that's what I'm hearing down the pipeline. That's what I'm getting information from. Um, and also, I we talked about GameStop with the PlayStation 5. You know, they have the price at $500. Uh, the Series X at $50 less, and also the PlayStation 5 camera um, is basically $130, which is really, really expensive. Um, they remade it like the original. Um, that's what I I would uh, do, keep, uh, keep anything out. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, bro. My boy Cloud in the Dread. I haven't played that game in so long, bro, but it's one of my all-time favorite games. Like, that's what kind of got me into gaming. That's one of the games, you know, but I haven't played that game in years. Like, it's been so, so freaking long. Uh, Steve Vaughn says, hey, Marlon, I just came um, in. I'm, I'm at school. There is nine periods at my school, and I am skipping... I'm skipping my seven period to watch the stream. Oh man, we yo boys, we out here skipping the, we out here skipping periods, bro, to to watch your boy. Hey yo, I appreciate that, man. I really appreciate. It. Don't get in trouble. I don't want you to get in trouble, my boy. Don't get in no trouble, man. Uh, do you have Fortnite? Yes. Um, what cloud is transcend sissy cloud? My boy got two ponytails. My boy is looking like Wendy's dog, sissified. Oh my god, that was a dope trailer though. I'm gonna have to put that in in here as well. Um, dope trailer, dope dope trailer. Um, I'm gonna update this as well. And um, let me see here. I'm gonna update this and I'm gonna add PS5 uh, teaser there. I'm also gonna add the. Um, I'm gonna put Final Fantasy VII here. Uh, Final Fantasy 7 um, trailer I'm gonna put Final Fantasy 7 trailer um, but yeah man you know that bro I'm telling you like it's looking it's looking to be lit guys seriously it's looking to be lit um, I, I just I, I, I can't I, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed right now with all the information that we've been getting regarding the PlayStation 5 and just everything in general, man. It's just it's crazy. Like, like Sony is about to come and they're about to 
do some damage, guys. Like, this is about to be the time where I feel like they're just being silent right now because, you know, the Super Bowl is coming up. Um, and they're probably having their investor meetings and everything. Um, Han, yo, what's good, bro? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for joining, man. We are we are getting hype right now, man, for for the 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 PlayStation 5. Um, we have a bit of information. So if you need me to run over anything, Ethan Lee, what's good, my boy? Welcome to the stream, man. Welcome to the stream. Uh, thank you so much, man, for coming through, man. I really appreciate it, my boy. Um, thank you so much, man. Seriously, thank you so much. Nedson, what's good? Welcome to the stream. Yo! Uh, he said, what's up, Marlon? I'm, I'm working on my vision board. Oh, bro, you came in at, right at a good time, guys. You came in right at a good time. Cloud Strive looked like Wendy's, looking like freaking Cinderella, looking like a sissy, man. I'm like, what in the world, boy? You got braids? You got, you got long ponytails and everything. Yo, oh my God, oh my God. Uh, let me ask y'all this. Who is getting that Animal Crossing Switch? Are y'all getting that Animal Crossing Switch? Let me know if y'all are gonna be getting that Animal Crossing Switch, man. Oh my God. That Animal Crossing Switch looks fire. No Switch Pro. No Switch Pro. So all them freaking rumors need to freaking stop. No Switch Pro. No Switch. <laughs> bro that freaking switch is lit and i got confirmation that that animal crossing switch it's it's the new nintendo switch it better be the new nintendo switch with a better battery life as well uh let me see who and who get the animal crossing switch i want it i'm not getting that okay i am i already got a switch uh i'm getting it 100 percent thinking about it okay yes rip yes rip switch pro Nintendo president like nope not gonna happen not gonna happen and I told people I said don't get y'all hopes up Nintendo does not and I was one of the ones that was saying like Nintendo does not need to come out with a switch pro like to combat with PlayStation 5 and the Series X like because here's the thing when the PS5 and the Series X come out this year trust and believe that the, the the hype it the hype is gonna be there, but it's not gonna be major until like the first or second year. So Nintendo has plenty of time to come out with a Switch Pro. So they don't necessarily that's a smart move because if Nintendo would have came out with a Switch Pro this year, R.I.P. to our wallets. I'm just saying them them fake leaks, boy. Stay away from them fake leaks, guys. Stay away from them fake leaks. I told people I said that I I just had a feeling that the Switch Pro wasn't happening this year, but no. There were all these rumors, man, from last year, from a year before that, them leaks were coming in. And Fuwakawa shut all that stuff down. I'm waiting for the PS5. Uh, I'm waiting for the PS5 reveal and gameplay footage. Me too, bro. Me too. But what they're saying here so far is that, um, you know, the reveal and everything is supposed to be happening at uh after the 15th of next month and we're supposed to be getting a teaser at the super bowl so uh nah i'm good i knew there wasn't going to be a switch pro anytime soon that's what i'm saying r.i.p to your wallets we don't need a freaking switch pro all we need right now is the ps5 we need to see what it looks like we need the specs we need um the games that are going to be available at launch and whatever else they have, whatever other accessory, PSVR 2, whatever other accessory that they have, that's all we freaking need to need right there. That's all we need. And if anybody's going to buy the Series X, fine. But come on, man. Uh, so uh, cross-dressing will be at Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> My boy got them pigtails, bro. My boy got them pigtails. Uh, February is just hours away. Um, I'm hoping we get big uh, uh, PS5 news within the next seven days. I'm telling you, Mo, a lot of people are excited about the PlayStation 5. I'm one of the main people that y'all need to subscribe to for PS5 news because as soon as information drops, I'm going to be one of the first ones to be on it. So I got y'all covered. I got y'all covered. Supreme says, hi, what's up, Supreme? I got you guys covered, man. 
Um, but let me go over for some people that are just coming in here. Let me go over the GameStop information again so you guys understand what's going on. Because I see a lot of you guys in the comments are like, hey, Marlon, what were you talking about? You know what I mean? Marlon, what were you talking about, Marlon? All right. So uh, the mini fridge box. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my brother-in-law wanted to buy the Series X, right? And so he wanted to buy the Series X at first because he liked the way how it looked and he thought they was going to have exclusive games. As soon as Matt Booty, Matt Booty is going to get a kick in his booty from PlayStation. But as soon as he found out that it was going to be no exclusive games for the Series X, he was like, bro, I ain't even bothering to buy the Series X no more. So there you go. You lost a freaking customer because you don't have no freaking games at launch. No exclusive games. Games that are coming out, I'll be able to play it on my old Xbox. Oh, my God. Microsoft, what are you doing? What are you freaking doing? You brain dead, Matt Booty. Like, what are you doing? You need to get off your booty and do something. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm a hard, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a hardcore PS, PS boy, man. I'm a hardcore PlayStation uh, fan. 49ers was good, bro. Now, let's go back into the information that I have for you guys here. So this is coming from Arisus Black on NeoGAF. Dropping more details on the PlayStation 5. Uh, it said Matt Booty Call. <laughs> God, Phil Spencer got a booty <laughs> Yo! Oh my god. Alright, guys. Um, so member of NeoGAF, Arias Black is possibly a legitimate insider. Um, his status is um recently debatable, but his leaks are far more interesting. So here we go, guys. So GameStop has a temporary SKU number for the PS5. It's listed in the system now at a retail of $4.99. So they're saying that, uh, um, uh, Marlon, uh, did you got some something on that email? Oh, the e you're talking about that email? Um, I'm gonna have to check, I'm gonna have to check. Um, so he's saying that in GameStop system, the PlayStation 5 is listed at $500, guys. There's also a SKU for the Series X, which is lower than the PlayStation 5, which is um, $50 less, right, than the, than, than the PlayStation 5. Don't know why. Don't ask. It's in their system, and they're both temps. They're, so they're both like uh, temp SKUs that they have in the system. Um, also, I have known some stores jump the gun and taken advanced pre-orders at these prices so you mean to tell me that gamestop is already taking jumping the gun and already taking pre-orders at these prices so basically 450 for the series x i'm guessing because i'm hearing that there's going to be two um different variations of the series x which is going to be a lower model one and a the higher model one so they're going to release two of them at launch, apparently. And so I'm guessing the lower variant is going to be $450, and the higher variant is probably going to be $600. When is the PS5 reveal? They're saying after the 15th. That's what they're saying right now, after the 15th. All right, so let's continue here. So basically, there is also a SKU for Resident Evil 8, Godfall, Assassin's Creed, does not say... Rig, Rignarok, or I can't even say Ragnarok, or Kingdom, Hellblade 2, and uh, 2K21, and Broken Filter, no idea what it is listed under PS5 titles and not accessories. So there you guys go on that. Also, we have accessories are priced way too effing high. But again, everything in the system at the moment is temporary. PS5 controllers are listed for $69. Um, there is no way that's right. And the Series X controllers are listed for $10 less. There is a PS5 camera listed, but, it, but it's $130. 
it's going to stay there till it dry rotten because I ain't buying it for that price. <laughs> I don't see one for the Series X. This was told um, from a multi-platform developer. Neither system is less than 10 teraflop, period. So basically, guys, um, it's going to be like, again, $500. That's, that's the number that keeps popping up over and over again. And uh, we saw the leaks that were showing like a touch screen on the actual PS5 controller. So if they do have a touch screen on here, my whole thing is this. That battery is going to go like this because the battery in this is garbage. So if anything for next gen, they Sony need better make sure that the battery in the PS5 in the DualShock 5 with all them features, built-in microphone, touch screen and everything, it, it better they better make sure that it's better. That's where I'm coming from with this. Make sure that it's better because if you're going to have assistant haptic feedback, haptic triggers, uh 3D audio, you know, all of that in there, yeah, the battery better be better. The battery better last for 24 hours. I'm I'm not even playing. The battery better be last. What's up, Jeff? What's good, bro? He says, yo, what's good, Marlon? Happy Friday, bro. But yeah. Uh, thank you, man. Happy Friday. Yes. Yeah, so the, the so they're saying that the controller is listed for sixty nine, and then the, the the camera is hundred and thirty dollars. And as far as the Super Bowl information, I know some of you guys are coming in. He said, Matt Sissy. <laughs> uh, so let me read over the Super Bowl information again as well. Uh, let's let's go over this um, details here. It says, oh, thank y'all so much for the retweets, man. I really appreciate it. Um, let's go back over this real quick. Uh, so he basically sent someone sent me this, um, and whatnot. And I wanted to bring this to you guys attention. Wait, did he delete the tweet? Oh, he deleted the tweet. Oh my God. He deleted the tweet. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, dude, don't do this to me. Okay. Anyways. Oh my God, bro. So apparently Sony is holding a private event hall in the next few hours. Uh, he says uh, better make PS5 8K 120 frames. I would say that that 8K 60 is probably the PS5 Pro. The PS5 Pro is probably going to do those numbers. The PS5 Pro will probably do like 8K like 60 or something like that. You know, or 8K... 25 frames or something, but I don't think 120. I think that's like PS6 or something like that. So he said that Sony is holding a private event hall in the next few hours. Expect new public information. Um, there is also a teaser at the Super Bowl. So we're getting a teaser at the Super Bowl, guys. So there you guys go on that. This is insane, man. Um, it says Gran Turismo 7 shown 8K 120. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know what hey, I don't know what you dreaming on, bro. I need I need you to tell me where you dreaming, what where your mind at, what you dreaming about, cause this is this is like freaking crazy, bro. Like seriously, crazy information. Now let me give you the GTA Six information real quick, guys, so you guys can have something to chew on to hold you guys over real quickly here. Um, let's let's uh let's dig deep into this real fast. So for the for GTA Six. Um, <clears throat> all right. Okay. So realistically, I think at this point, it is evident that we won't be seeing Grand Theft Auto 6 until sometime in 2022, most likely set for a spring release date. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, a spring release delay until fall. So they're saying that spring of 2022, but it's going to be delayed until fall. The countless fake leaks, them fake leaks, boy, the, the, the countless fake leaks and rumors only add to the frustration surrounding this game. And the fact that people believe in these supposed leaks is ridiculous. I feel like people are grasping into uh, minuscule, irrelevant points in hopes 
it some, um, somehow relates to GTA 6. However, being completely honest, we have only um, had two to three credible uh, bits of info um, of this title. The constant um, clickbaiting is also frustrating um, at, as it shows lack of, you know what, uh, the likelihood of the game being announced at an event is also most likely not going to occur. For both uh, GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2 handled marketing on their own. And yeah, Rockstar don't need to showcase Grand Theft Auto 6 at an event. They don't because they have their own freaking event. So they don't need to do that. Um, uh, let me see here. So <clears throat> yeah, they, they handle their own event and don't need to like piggyback off of other events to be successful which makes a lot of sense to me this is uh this is surely should be evidence enough i am fully aware that if they decide to go off the beat track and stray away from the past marketing uh formats they would absolutely get away with it just on the basis of how anticipated this game is also on the matter of the game releasing this year as a time exclusive is ridiculous to say the least sony could not afford or or would want to pay a massive bill for a lack of copy sales or microtransactions lost on microsoft behalf nor would our i'm guessing rockstar allows this to occur why would they also want to create a scaled down version of current gen? So based off all of this information, it seems like Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be just next gen only. Um, despite the, the rant, GTA 6 is shaping up to be an incredible game. And we will have to wait and see what the near future has for the install announcement wise. So there you guys go. This whole bull crap of nonsense that we were getting about oh yeah it's going to be revealed at the ps5 event and oh it's exclusive and oh it's time exclusive all these freaking fake leaks there is the truth about the uh gta 6 happening here and i can kind of see it being released in 2022 and getting revealed like 2021 they probably gonna start like showcasing like trailers and a bit more of information and such uh can you look at the private event about the uh on youtube can you look at the private live event about the ps5 reveal on youtube is there one happening um let me let me do this real quick and your boy has to let me see um let me see ps5 event uh, ps5 event let me see something um live let me see nah man it is nothing there's nothing right now there's nothing about that <laughs> i don't know where that information came from but yeah my, yeah my boy there's nothing about that at all like they said expect public information today because something is going down um at the sony hall and whatnot so i mean there's nothing like groundbreaking as far as information is concerned so there you guys have it man i love you guys so much I'm going to have to cut this one a bit short because got to go uh, take care of some stuff. And um, I will be live again. Don't worry. I just had to put this information out there for you guys. Seriously, love y'all. If something happens today, like public information regarding the PlayStation 5, I got you guys covered, okay? Don't worry. I'm your man for the all the PlayStation news, leaks, rumors, everything. I got you guys covered, man. Love you guys so much. Get hype. Switch gang. And... Please tell Phil Spencer to stop making Matt Booty his booty call. Love y'all, man. <laughs> Hit that like button, guys. I'll catch y'all later on, man. Peace. Share the stream, man. We out of here. Them fake leaks, boy. Matt Booty.